Good afternoon, Leroy. Hey, good afternoon. Hi. I'm fine. You, uh, you are in Savannah, Georgia. Tell me a little bit about the meeting that you're having today. Well, today we're having a basic general meeting of the Green Party. Uh, we've been going over a few uh, committee reports and stuff like that. We actually had an election uh, today of one of our co-chairs, Ms. Barbara Humphrey. So we just recently elected her to as co-chair. Uh, we also have a few announcements. We put out an announcement of uh, having a spot for secretary open. Uh, Right now, basically, uh, we're taking a 10-minute pause at this moment, and we're getting ready to have a uh, our membership meeting, committee chairman speak. Uh, it's been really good. We like the new facility. This is our first time using uh, the Garden City uh, as library, as a place to meet, and uh, I've, I'm really liking it. Uh, meetings have been going really smooth. Our numbers have been greatly increasing. Uh, I see a lot of new members, a lot of new faces here, about yeah, seven new faces here, so it's been really good so far. You're, a success. you're part of the, uh, you're on the executive committee, right? Yes, I am. I'm the treasurer of the, uh, okay. the Chatham Green Party here, uh, so that does put me in a, we, we call it the, the steering committee. Okay. So all, all um, officers, such as the treasurer, secretary, and co-chairs, are on the steering committee, as well as all of the committee chairmen are on the steering uh, how long has has the uh, the chapter? When did it start? How long has it been since you started the well, chapter here? Well, officially, it's uh, officially it's been since uh, two weeks ago. We, we were official. Okay. How's it called? But. I want to say we really got started somewhere around the end of convention of the Democratic Convention. Uh, okay. After the Democratic Convention, um, I Who felt did you support at the uh, Bernie the Sanders? Okay. I supported Bernie Sanders. Um, I honestly felt like he did not get a fair deal. I felt that there was too much establishment politics that led to the decision of not pushing Bernie Sanders, and I. There's been a lot of election suppression, you know, you know what, what side of the fence you're on that one. But if you go to uh, truthvote.org, okay. uh, that has a great deal of information about the election uh, iniquities of 2016. And I'm not just talking about in the general election, but especially in the primary election. Uh, I was real disappointed in the whole use of superdelegates, and there's many things like that. So. I was... It is said that there's been a lot of tampering also. Absolutely. There's been a lot of tampering. Uh, the facts on those things, uh, you can definitely go to truth, uh, truthboat.org and there's, there's uh, PDF files, there's videos. These are very professional uh, lawyers that actually deal with election fraud and election uh, suppression uh, that has come to some shocking conclusions to include, I believe it was a 20% differential here in Georgia between the exit polls, which that's, that's uh, that in most places that would shut down their elections. But, so. so you you uh, decided to vote for Jill Stein? Yes, I did. Yep, yeah, sure did. So that I was uh, your, your, your switch, so to speak, to the Green Party that mm -hmm. happened after that? Well, see, I don't really, really want to call it a switch as so that I like to call myself progressive. Uh, I, I, there's certain things such as uh, getting corporate money out of uh, politics, and um, taking our, our, our um, environment seriously and climate change seriously uh, and community, community uh, economics, all these different issues that I stood for while I was with the Democratic Party and while I was, while I was uh, working with, for Bernie Sanders, turns out are right there in the Green Party. People were talking about, well, maybe we should make a new party. Maybe we should, like, you know, Bernie should make his own third party. I decided why. There's already a party that's been doing it. All it needs the members. And the bottom line is this. There are three forms of power. There's money. There's power of control of information. And then there's power of people. Right now, the establishment parties, Democrat and Republican, control all three. So what myself and the several others decided to do is like, let's take some of that power away. And that's going to at least be, start with the people. Because without some form of power, we're not going to get anything done. So we decided that if we want to really get these progressive issues pushed, 
we're not going to get them pushed in the Democratic Party because they're just going to get drowned out by the establishment. And I, and, and, and so I'm going to say this, I support those who want to change the Democratic Party from the inside, but it's been tried many times before. And you may get some headway, and I, you know, Godspeed to you. But when it is eventually, it's going to hit the money. The money that's in politics. You're not. I. I don't feel you're going to be able to get the congressman to drop their money. But if you do, that'd be great. But that money in politics is going to be a wall. And until the Democratic Party makes a pledge to stop taking stuff like super PACs. I personally cannot take it seriously. And if they're not going to seriously look into something such as uh, instant runoff or ranked choice voting, as opposed to first past the post, which encourages a two party system, I can't take them seriously. So, what I would like to do is I'm, I'm in a party that believes in getting corporate money out of politics and been doing it for 20 years. I'm in a party that believes in election reform that gives the, the choice back to the people and the power back to the people. <laughs> Our congressman here in Savannah happens to be uh, Congressman Buddy Carter, a Republican. Mm -hmm. I hear that uh, the, there will be a presence of the Green Party at his town hall meeting. Would Is you tell me a little bit more about that? Well, I know I'm going. I don't know exact mm -hmm. number, but I definitely will be there, and I'm looking forward to asking the tough questions. And. Not because he is a Republican. If there was a Democrat there too, I'm going to ask them the tough questions. And the bottom line is, one of the tough questions that was brought up is the climate change, the real climate change. And I hear that Buddy Carter is a climate change denier. But the real issue of climate change were 97% of scientists in 80 countries around the world have a consensus that climate change is real and that's being done by us by humans and the bottom line is it turns out I hear that he's a climate change denier so I would love to um, talk to him and he needs to he needs to answer for those lives of millions of lives that could be changed and, uh, and lost due to climate change and the real impact would be not only on our city but on our country and then on our and not on our um, our national security. So, yeah, I can't wait to meet him. I'd love to talk to him, and I'd love to hear his answers on these strong, tough issues. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you so much, Leroy. Thank you. Appreciate it.